your situation is not new. I think we are all in it. Mm. Yeah. You're not the only one. I think even America are in the Middle East. Oh, so people are so divided about it. People are so frustrated by the limitation. You know, uh, I don't have an answer except for mine, you know, or my own, you know. And if some it appeals to some, they follow it. If not, they have their own choice. Uh, one is to have uh, an openness to the bigger picture. What is really happening now? You know, in the in the bigger picture, for me, we I realize that we are in the middle or the beginning of the uh, the apoc apocalypse time. This is apocalyptic time. This is what all predicted in the Bible and the Quran. And all. This is happening. And what, what the high beings predicted is unfolding now. And the Tibetans thought it's going to happen 300 to 600 years from now. They say it's happening now. This is immense unfoldment taking place. And some of it is going to be very challenging. It's going to be very uh, heartbreaking. and. To me, this is the beginning of a, a bigger unfoldment, more horrendous, more painful than we think. You know, it might take another six years, seven years for it to unfold. And we will see, we will see things that are really uh, painful. You know, maybe billions of people might die. There is also elimination process taking place. Seeing the bigger picture, maybe there is something that we really don't know. Is it the human karma coming back? Is it the purification, cleansing that we have gone overboard? Humanity and the establishment led by the establishment, by the politicians, you know? So I stay away from all of that to get into another stream from the absolute. I try to stay in the stream of blessings, of connection to source, of empowerment, of healing, of transformation, of protection, because the moment I step in that field, I get in their stream. And I don't have personal power to deal with that. You know, even the Dalai Lama retreated. All the high beings I know are on retreat now because they don't want to step in this political upheaval that's going on. It's, it's massive. It's so like as if one big gangster is dominating the earth. And that is also predicted. You know. Seeing that make me bow my head to step out of the storm. The storm is coming. I'm not going to, I have to move out of it and receive. So then comes the question to me is that my reactivity to freedom, right? which is, you know, as a German, you have a big issue about freedom. They think they are free, you know? America, they call it the land of the brave and the land of the free. They are the least free. The Germans are so bound by Germanness. The Americans are so bound, you know? The Indians are much, much freer. Even though it's more miserable, even though it's more difficult, but we have a stand, and the Germans, especially Germans, have a stand which is part of our work, the false citadel. They have the citadel, they can stand up for the right and walk the walk, and which is really remarkable, but also they have the false citadel, which is rigidity and um, step out of my way. And I'm, so that is also a conflict will be really. Uh, arising in Germany a lot and in America too. They share similar false citadel. You know, America might break into war, fractions all over, you know. And I don't know what will happen in Germany, but it is crisis time all over. For me, is my freedom dependent on what they do and what they don't? Or am I already a prisoner? And the situation is making me feel the, the walls around me. Because I thought I was free whenever I want to go to the store and whenever I want to do this, whenever I want to do that, I have the illusion of freedom. Maybe partially true, partially free. It's nice to have that. I, I love to see people, you know, uh, don't get so restricted. 
But I also love to see people get restricted. I think COVID did nice things to humanity. It put us in our rooms to behave. And people are questioning. They're questioning what's happening to the planet. They're questioning what the, what the politicians are doing. More consciousness is arising. And I, I believe we are in the passage moving from individuation, I do my thing, to we do our thing. It's global. The new generation now are connecting all over. You know, from mm. South America to China to Germany, they talk to each other. They, you know, so uh, it's a transition happening, in which we really have to to awaken and behave. And some of the behavior is that COVID forcing people to sit and feel what's going on. They have to go through their neurosis, their psychosis, their suffering, and it's it's really critical time very critical time. So I see that obvious that there is something, you know, even the um, shamans in, in South America they, and in, in here in America, the Native Indian saying, this is the great mother, the earth, Pachamama, sending us COVID. So we behave. Whatever the politician will do, whatever, it's going to make us face our own um, hopefully shortcomings and upgrade, upgrade ourselves. Politicians not gonna save us, changing the political scene is another trap. We need to fundamentally change, go back to may our points of light land. I invoke all of you for the coming year, I'm gonna do, hopefully maybe I'll do for us also meditation and wish to invoke our points to land. May the points of land uh, points of light land. May we become human again. We are not humans. We are robots. We are personalities. And this personality has a trigger point. And one of the trigger point is the freedom. And you are free because you are limited. Not outside, inside. Dalai Lama is in retreat. He is not, you know, he is so free, he doesn't go anywhere. He's just sitting, you know. And he is immensely free. I wish I can have that much freedom all the time. So to me, is as I look at freedom and to see the one that's rebelling against all of this, legitimately so, partially, but partially it is not letting me be in my freedom. This I is my jail. My very identity who seeks freedom is my jail and my jailer. My quest is to be free from it to relinquish its programming, to take away my identity from it, to restore it in my point of light, in my being, and to sit in this couch and feeling I am freer than any of those people who are claiming to be free. Maybe I cannot get out of the house, but they cannot get out of their skin. And I have no limit, no limit whatsoever. Every day I can, reach the absolute, every day I can bring blessings, every day I transmit it, every day I become a blessed vehicle, that's my freedom. Many monks go live in caves, self-imposed, you know? and in that they become free. And in that freedom, they become generators of love and light and blessings. This is my quest to be a beacon in this dark times. They limit me not to go shopping. They limit me, they, okay. You know, they limited me before anyway. You know, really. And I pray for those who are on the front line, <coughs> having to go through more crisis, you know. My heart, my prayer with them, those who are working in, in the front line of things, hospitals, all kinds of places, you know, they are, they need protection, may protection comes, you know, for them in all kinds of ways, you know. And the other thing I think, who is programming the COVID? Who's programming this virus? It's a virus. How come it has this intelligence that, that now it has 40 mutations? Where does it get such intelligence? Who is feeding it? Who is resourcing it? 
that each time we discover, it escapes us and does something else. Who is behind the scene? Sometimes our ego or our point when I go on a holy quest and some of it is because, you know, it's right, but sometimes we really cannot do anything. Yeah. The only thing we can do like the Dalai Lama for us, I use him because I love him as a, as a really brother. He couldn't do anything about, the, about China and Tibet, but he kept persisting all his life to, uh, transmit the essence of humanness. Without it, we cannot correct anything. We might make a revolution against China. America might fight China. China might fight. We, this, is, this is the beast, the time of the beast, doing so much. And we are in the middle of the time of the beast. And the way to navigate is toward, toward our humanness. Call upon our point of light, connect to the absolute beingness, cultivate compassion, uh, try to erase the programming that is feeding the virus. There's a program. Virus, as I asked, the question that answer is to me, the absolute is feeding the virus. The programs in the absolute are feeding the virus. Who put the programs in the absolute? See, we did. We did. We program the absolute every day. It's time to awaken to the what we can do, the glory. If I get engaged in the mess, I become another contributor. Even if I am anti antichrist, I become anti antichrist. I become, you know, how to navigate for me is a challenge, a huge challenge to bow to the limitations, to walk as much as you can, careful, peaceful, till this passage passes. And meanwhile, use it to meet the challenges, the freedom, the identity, transform every bit of you into its original. You, you want your, your freedom, freedom is the absolute. You want your sense of self, that, that is really, I am, I, I am free, seek your point of light set her free to be in the in, in the being that's what i do some people don't like it so you want to do things you know and i have even my doctors divided three of them says no way they will take the uh, vaccination not at least not the mrna but if they become a natural one they might and two of them said take it because you're weak and you have to get it before you die so there are even those you know how it is for me, I am just following this prayer, meditation, trying to make the right right. For some people, they feel, yes, the only thing I could do is seek refuge and minimize, you know, what I can do till this passage goes. Some people know they like to challenge and fight, you know, I pray for them, you know. But before I fight, let me know that I am right. What am I fighting? Do I know what I'm fighting? Is it the limitation of the government or the ignorance of humanity or both? What are we doing? What are we really doing? The planet is dying. We it's not dying, we will be dying. She will heal herself in no time. Humanity will be thrown out in Bardo. Maybe 100,000 years, 200,000 years, till we learn our lesson and come back and bow and kiss this earth. This is the mother, Pachamama, the great mother, giving us life, giving us body, giving us the soul without a body is incomplete. Absolute without body is incomplete. This body has absolute, has spirit has heart has emotions has mind all combined in one entity glorious it took 13 billion years or more to make this body to make a cell and we are treating it like nothing and we are destroying the kingdom that makes it thrive we're gonna lose it then we're really gonna see what it means to bow to our humanness that's where i go you know? 
if that resonates with your heart, then increase your quest. Disengaging from the ego, from the reactivity, allowing the diamond body to come, allowing grace to come, allowing whatever your, the, you, your soul and the great being want to contribute to this time. And for me, I'd rather contribute from the essential domain. I'd rather anchor in being and bring scoop from being blessings to here because not many can do it. Many people can walk in the street, many can do fine, God bless them. But you and me and all of us in our group, we can go somewhere where our brothers and sisters cannot go. They don't dare go into the hall, in the genital hall, or in the lostness of man, or the lostness of soul. They don't know, they are like children. We can go into that. And going into that, we bring treasures to humanity. We bring our essence to humanity. And that to me is where the transition has, uh, the hope has to go. So this is where I am. I said it before, I repeat it again, you know, if it resonates with you, may, may we really find a way through this, through grace, really through grace, because the picture is immense, so immense. Mm-hmm. Yes, I do something. You can do something, you see. Mm-hmm. We, we, some people can, some people cannot. Mm-hmm. Some people only generate anxiety and rebellion and they can do very little, you know, mm-hmm. but they are propelled by their super ego, by the beast, by the alien saying, do something, come out, do something. And sometimes you cannot. Mm-hmm. You conserve that energy, it's energy, right? You conserve it and you transmute it from negativity to love, to blessings, to empowerment, to healing. Mm -hmm. What can you do to those who are dying now in the hospitals or at home with COVID in a horrible way? But what if there is something more you could do, right? That also can touch those who are dying in India. Mm. or in China, or Mm. in Africa. Wouldn't that be more appealing? Yes, there you go, you see? You increase. I can bring love, I can bring light, I can bring guidance, maybe I can remove the curtains about the absolute and guide their souls Mm. to enter the light. The, the, The upgrading in your capacity of functioning in the spiritual domain Spiritual domain is not a high, it's very practical, very down to earth. You really can do things with it, amazing. You know? The more mm-hmm. you increase your necessity for skillful means, for empowerments, maybe so many things will be bestowed upon you that you know sometimes you really cannot go do things. Then maybe in my meditation, I become an empowerment for humanity. I can guide souls to go to the light. Mm. I can shower the planet with whatever frequency that's needed. I can generate from the absolute blessings, you know? And imagine if there is so more of us doing that, mm. to me then there are, we are de- dealing with something from the basic ground, from the fun- fundamental sense of existence. So in, if, if I cannot do anything and then I frustrate myself, I have to do something, but I really don't know what I could do. I might create you know, a storm in a teacup. You know? I get involved, I, I am not contributing. <laughs> I'd better <Yeah>. sit, meditate, <laughs> you know? quiet yeah. myself, that's a contribution. Hmm. So it's a challenge. Some of us have more capacities to do here and there. Some of us cannot, but getting frustrated, you know, really need it. Think that most of us, that all of us, I think, in, in the work here and there, came with also intention in our souls to help mm. for this time. And think of the new generations. What's her name, this delightful girl, 15 years old, 16 year old girl, who's fighting for the planet? Mm. And who's really mucking at all those politicians. Yeah, Yeah, that one, you know. Um, Many of her generations are high beings, are are Rinpoches, are precious ones, coming 
to navigate us from the, you know, that, that we're doing. So this is my view. I don't impose it on anyone. Do whatever you want to. But for me, I know I could do something others can do. Let me do it more sincerely. Let me do it more genuinely. Let me do it more lovingly. And I cannot do anything if, if even more enjoyable. So <laughs> I can suffer from guilt. I am happy and they are not, but that, what can I do? Being is happy. Mm. So may all of us find our quest, our what we can do and pump this blessing into this existence. So much, it touches my heart so much when I hear about those high beings now on retreat. They're really in retreat. Hundreds of thousands of them sitting and meditating and generating and praying and amazing things they do. Those monks and nuns sitting all day long, you know, praying for humanity, praying for the planet, praying for the insects, for the animals. Because if anything, they cannot fight the, the governments. You know, the moment they step and they'll be used. Mm. So I hope I hope that you know you find your bliss, you find your way, and I hope you will join me into this. You know, that we sit, sit and meditate more and transform ourselves again. You know, think of I think of us like we like a worm, like larva. You know, the worm goes into cocoon and comes out as a butterfly. This whole journey, we are going into the cocoon of being, transforming, and coming out as golden points, as precious points, adding blessing, light, guidance. You know, it's our heart desire. It's what we wanted as children. We really wanted to save the family. We wanted to give them light and love. And we got engaged with them and lost everything. Now we become wiser. We can <laughs> join them, but we can still generate what we came to do. That, that's at least my approach because I because I feel I am helpless. I cannot do much outside. Mm -hmm. I can go protest three four hours, but three four hours I could meditate. Mm -hmm. yeah. Others others are doing it, you know. But at least for me, I am not not for me, you know. Not for either that I am not useful that way. I am more useful this way. I know it's painful times to see and challenges, but we are only too sensitive because we are not free. Mm. If you're free, you're not sensitive to freedom. <laughs> yeah. If you're, if you're, you know, if you have eaten, you're, you don't think of food. Mm. You only think of food when you're hungry. All right. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. No freedom is setting yourself in the being. It's, 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 this is freedom, freedom. And from there, you really see the capacity of what a free soul can do. Each time I learn, each time I discover, each time I hear from uh, beings and teachers, I get touched, I get moved by what they can resource from source, the absolute source. And we are sorcerers, we resource from source. And then we can resource blessings, empowerment, healing, knowledges, advancement. The planet, the humanity is not that evolved. It's in the process of evolution. And there is also a bigger picture. We are at the last of the 7,000 year cycles. We are at the 49,000 years. We're entering the 49,000 year of the 50,000 year cycle. You know? So it's 6,000 years and it's ending and we are entering you know, the new, new era for a thousand years. This is another knowledge we don't know that we have programmed the cosmos 50,000 years ago. And we are witnessing the unfoldment of that program. Now, what do we do with that knowledge? Mm -hmm. That knowledge exists. Yeah. And there is a whole teaching about it and how, what are the programs and the ages of humanity went through in the last 50,000 years, and we are reaching the 49,000 year, and there is ma major transformation in the human evolution. It, it makes one wonder, wow, there may be more to the picture. 
yeah. than me, just my freedom. I, I bow when the, you know, when, when the storm comes, uh, a living tree can bend, a rigid tree will fight. I oh. bend, a storm passes. But meanwhile, I incubate, I transform me into the preciousness I, I am made of. Maybe okay. download the Holy Grail, maybe, you know, all, all of those retrieve the treasures that we are. That's my quest, if you like, that <laughs> I could, you know, she joined me. And at the same time, if you can do something outside, do it. You're an acupuncturist, do it. I'm, I'm a healer, I transmit healing, I do it. Mm. I just pray, be careful about the political scene because the political scene is a beastly activity. The, the being has given the beast power to run the planet now. It's approved. Mm. If you wanna get mad, get mad at God. That'd be better. <laughs> Why is God allowing it? <laughs> so I wish us really well, bow to the storm passes, continue in the in, really in alignment to, to being, to wisdom, bring us the blessings. Not many are doing it. Everybody is revved up now. You know? mm. Really, there, there's so much stress. They are like children, you know? put in their room, like sometimes, you know, I remember my children overdo it. I said, go to your room, sit in your room. They don't like it, they protest. After some time they get out of their system, they come and play. I hope this is like that, that we went overboard and they will be saying enough. Don't hurt matter. Don't hurt this precious planet. Don't hurt life. You are so, we are so ignorant. We're so ignorant, unbelievable, how little we know. I wish all of those going there make one cell, one cell, one living cell hmm. that has 50,000 operations. Somebody said, even another doctor said, 100,000 operation in a second. Who could create this cell with this intelligence that makes this body, that makes this planet? Hmm. Yeah. And we go destroying right and left. May we really sober up, may humanity, and they have to go through the hard way. Really, we have to increase our compassion and patience because they have to go through the hard way. They're not going to stop just like this. Mm. It got overboard. So we pray. Recognize the free one within. Mm-hmm.